good morning and welcome to Flat Tank Journey. It's a pretty miserable sort of morning coming out of Colac. It's just on 7 a.m. on Saturday. And Flat Tank Friday might come over a few things that I see this week. Off to a Heritage Day or a Made in Hamilton Day, it's called. Hamilton's about two hours drive from me and I've loaded up the trailer as you saw during the week and got a couple of bikes to take up there and see what's happening up in, in Hamel. Bit of variety up there I think, blacksmithing, steam, miniature trains and Lord knows what else. I'm going to get off down the road a bit now, do, the, do my best. Sorry about the shakiness of the footage, uh, but that's what it is. It'll be a pretty sort of miserable day, hopefully everything's undercover up there. I'm told the bike display is undercover so I'm in the southwest of Victoria and the grass is long and it's spring and we're getting some nice late spring rain so um, I'm going to enjoy the drive and a cup of coffee that I've just picked up I'll bring you back when I've got something more to show you G'day I'm Chris and this is Flat Tank Journey and you're watching Flat Tank Friday if you've got through the first few minutes Given that I've travelled to Hamilton, um, and I didn't take a lot of footage while I was there, a little bit, and I've cut some of it up for you to have a look at. Just thought I'd talk about the things you're going to see uh, in between, because I didn't do a lot of talking while I was videoing stuff. Because I thought it might make me look like an idiot, to be honest. First video is uh, about a 51 BSA band. It's unrestored, it's got a wooden box on the top, where there's rabbit traps and... I don't know whether the rabbit traps were ever used, but it's a cute looking bike. Have a look, enjoy. Coming back, one of the highlights of my weekend was seeing a 1927 Baker. I'd never heard of a Baker before. It's a great looking bike. I posted some still pictures on my Facebook page called Flat Tank Journey as well. Have a look. I photographed the written description the guy has written to go with the bike. It's a fascinating little bike with a Villiers engine in it. The guy claims only five came to Australia. My Facebook post that I shared into some Facebook groups has got quite a comprehensive background of Baker information that comes from lots of contributors who had their two bobs worth to tell me about Baker bikes. Here's the video.
This next short clip is some cars, mainly Dodges and a standard. Not a lot of cars that were really my liking in my era, but here's a few cars for you to have a look at. They were pretty cool. There was a couple of highlights bike-wise for the day. One was an um, uh, early 40s WL Harley that I posted some pictures on my Facebook page of. So you can go and have a look at that if you want. The other was an M21, a BSA with a sidecar, a box sidecar to be precise. And in the box sidecar was a paratrooper's folding bicycle. It was pretty cool. It had been well done. The bike looked nice. The interesting part about the bike was um, BSA sold their engines off to lots of people, including Sawbench manufacturers. The motorcycle description that's written with this bike claims this is a new old stock engine that had never been used until 1999 when this guy's put together this M21. I assume it's a Hagen or Hagen, H-A-G-O-N, Hagen Sawbench engine um, that had been still in the box. Have a look at the bike, it's pretty cool.
like a lot of different things, as you'll find if you watch this over a series of months or however long I do this for, you'll find that my taste is pretty eclectic. I don't mind an old tractor, and I certainly enjoyed the vintage tractor pull that they had up there, and I've got some footage on my Facebook page of that. But the next little clip is a tractor walk as I walked along the line of displayed uh, vintage tractors from probably just pre-war to perhaps up to the 60s. Have a look if you enjoy. And this last clip, this last clip is a friend of mine, Kieran Gleeson. He goes by the tag of the Yambuck Blacksmith. One of his forebears was a blacksmith in Yambuck um, a long, long time ago. And Kieran now blacksmiths as a hobby and greatly enjoys it. So here's a clip I took of Kieran in the blacksmith's forge at the Hamilton Pastoral Museum, uh, plying his trade. Enjoy. Well, that's Flat Tank Friday for another week. It's fairly full on trying to get this to happen every week. Hope you enjoyed this week's video. It's a little bit different. I got a lot of different things going on in the shed and around my life. Got the lathe for those of you who are interested. Uh, thanks to the people who subscribe to the channel. I've hit seven subscribers, so that's pretty cool for me. Uh, lots of people seem to enjoy it. And if you don't, that's okay too. So the lathe work continues, hoping the parts will arrive. I've got a new project coming into the shed, which is a bit exciting, a bike from the Flat Tank era. I've got a little teaser video to come out in the next week or so, and then I'll give you a good look at the bike before we do much. Um, a bit more about that later. I hope you've enjoyed Flat Tank Friday. Have a great weekend. I'll catch you again next week. Cheers. <laughs>